Hello guys, I would like to show you how to root Galaxy S3. My current model is T999B and Android version is 4.4.2. Okay, I will use Chainfire Auto Root and you can download right version from his website. I will put the link to the description of my video. So first of all, we need to put the phone in a downloading mode. So I will remove the battery. I will press down button, menu button and press and hold power button. When the phone vibrates, I will release it. Now it shows me continue, I press continue. It's downloading mode. I will put the connect the phone to the my laptop. I will use Odin to version 3.07 to flash root image. Okay, I don't change anything here. The main thing you should see edit here, and don't forget what uh, you should connect the phone to the computer before you start Odin. Otherwise, uh, Odin will not show connected for phone in that place. So I press PDA. I found for that model only two packages. One is for Android version 4.1.1 and you can see here it says the model number in that place it says 999 and second package is for version 4.4 and in case if you have 4.3 android you can use the same version i already tried and it will root the phone so i press open a little while it shows me checking md5 finished successfully and i press start button and here on the phone you can see it's flashing just wait a little bit now you see a pirate as an android and it's doing the routine Don't forget what doing root you will void any warranty, you will lose any warranty and also you will not able to update the phone using the software update what is built in feature in uh, when you go to in the menu in the settings in the, about the phone. So keep this in mind. After that you will be able to update your phone but you will need also Odin and you will need to download the right package. Okay, so now Usually root doesn't break anything on the phone and you will just get the administrative uh, permissions. So you can see here icon it says Super SU. When you launch it first time it will say Samsung Knox has been detected so you need to press OK to stop it. And that's it. In settings there are some useful options. You can do default access and it says prompt. So next time when it uh, the application will need to, to get root permissions, there are some options you can choose to prompt and it will send you the notification to grant. You can put right away grant and will and will give to any applications root permissions was probably not very good idea and you can deny so in case of deny you will not get any notifications and 
it's kind of not really having feedback. Where is an option it says full on root when when you press it it will try to remove the application super su and low root stuff from the phone. Okay, but I had a problem with uh, it on version 4.3 you will need to update super su using uh, play market. That's it. Thank you for watching and please press on like button. Thank you. Bye.